Hello everyone. I'm glad to have an opportunity to tell you about our recent work on the blind football play-by-play -play system for visually impaired spectators. The 2020 Tokyo Paralympics are coming this summer. Consequently, the number of the spectators attending these related sporting events has also been increasing. In the case of blind football, several spectators are visually impaired. However, visually impaired spectators face difficulty in understanding the precise developments of these games. To provide such information to them, making play-by-play -play announcements of the live coverage of the games is the best solution. But, it is difficult to employ a professional commentator for every game. Therefore, this study aims to develop a support system for visually impaired spectators, which can automatically provide game updates. So, let's look first at our proposed system. We propose a blind football play-by-play -play system, combining a position acquisition function and tactile graphic display devices. First, record the match. Next. Systematically process match videos for tactile graphic display. It can be identified the position of 10 players and one ball using image processing technology and deep learning. Final, raise the pins corresponding to the identified positions. It can be projected as a bird's eye view layout of the ball and players on the field at 100th scale. Next. We wanted to know the appropriate specification of the proposed system, so we carried out three basic experiments. First one was to identify the combination of the different vibration frequencies that allow the user to easily distinguish between the two teams. We used 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 16. 32 Hz due to the specifications of the tactile graphic display device. As results, 0, 1, 2, 8, and 32 Hz were deemed most suitable for distinguishing two different vibrations. Second one was to identify the frequency at which it was easy to distinguish when the pin moved continuously. The same frequencies as in experiment 1 was used. As results, the order of the ease of tracking was 16, 32, 8, 0, 4, 3, 2, and 1 Hz. Finally, it was verified as to whether the participants could distinguish between the two teams, designated by different frequencies based on the results of experiments 1 and 2. So, Team A was set to 32 Hz, Team B was set to 8 Hz, and the ball was set to 0 Hz. From the experiment, six of the seven participants were able to identify each team member. From the above three experimental results, one team was set to 32 Hz, the other was set to 8 Hz, and the ball was set to 0 Hz. And, as you can see at the bottom right of the video, each player displayed with one pin and the ball was displayed with three times three pins. In experiment three, one of the seven participants was able to understand the formation. In addition, several participants commented that they could distinguish the detailed movements of the players, which was not possible with the live announcements. So, let me summarize. In conclusion, this system provides a rich user experience to the visually impaired spectators. In addition, it is applicable not only for spectators, but also for players as an effective method of strategizing, because this system can be displayed simultaneously on four players' tactile displays. Thank you for watching my presentation. We look forward to discussing with you.